What's up guys, Jez here from Whisker Fire TV and welcome to uh, episode, what are we, episode 83 of Whisker Fire TV. If you didn't gather today by the uh, little, I guess, Wilderness Trail Distillery postcard I have sitting there and a cheeky little sticker, uh, we will be sampling the bottle of Wilderness Trail Settlers Select Rye Whiskey. Uh, which is a Whiskey Hunt Australia pick right there. So just so you guys can see it, a little tag on the side. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. This released, I believe, last week. But I had the barrel and batch stuff I had to get out. And then, obviously, Rye July as well. So we'll just keep the Rye train moving. So I'll pop this sucker. I've already sampled it. Got all my, uh, got all my notes and everything written up. So, which is in a rather aggressive pop might I say, the, uh, it is long pour on that. I'm getting slowly better and better at the long pours. You do them enough time. It's hard to get that going too. Don't mind me. I'll leave that there. Make sure everything's in frame. Make sure I'm in frame. It sits on there nicely as well. I'm gonna leave that there. So, uh, as I said, it's a Wilderness Trail Rye Whiskey Hunt Australia pick. It is 111 proof or 55.5%. I'm going to move that before I knock it over. Uh, five years old, it cost me $165 and the recommended retail in the US. Or what it's going for on the Wilderness Trail store is 68.20 plus tax. Uh, the cask is at number four charred American oak and the mash bill is 56% rye, 33% corn, and 11% malted barley. So, uh, let's break this one down. Uh, Wilderness Trail Distillery is a family-owned business, if you guys aren't aware, that started in 2012 and located on 168 acres in Danville, Kentucky, which is just outside of Louisville. So, the people behind the operation are Shane Baker and Dr. Pat Heist. And between them, they've got 20 plus years of fermentation experience and expertise and their pure love of whiskey in general. Wilderness Trail actively talks about their grain that are 100% uh, Kentucky proud, which is huge over in Kentucky. Um... And, oh, because I put an extra word on the end of that. Um, yeah, which is huge over there. Uh, the, you know, it's basically a, what is it? It has to be 100% in Kentucky for it to be 100% Kentucky proud. I believe that's how it goes, but I'm sure Jeremy will correct me in the comments. Uh, at the time of filming, there is six rick houses and about 100,000 barrels inside of those. And it is what? July, so... July. Let us crack in from there. So as it's kind of been sitting in the glass, I was able to taste it a few days ago, got my notes, just so I can cover off anything I really miss there. Oh, that's a that's a new note. I kind of just found that I didn't write down, funny enough. So just on the nose, I was the first note I kind of got just then, which I didn't actually put down a few days ago was this um this kind of lime cordial note like straight off the bat which is really interesting because it kind of noses like a little bit like a bourbon funny enough with the 33 percent corn so you wouldn't really gather it's a rye but then it's kind of got this toffee apple like these caramels and a little bit of toasted oak there as well so good stuff Still recording and we're moving through it rather quick. Mm. Okay, so mid viscosity on that one, um, it, really nice, good palate feel. Kind of coats the tongue completely, and it's got some a little bit of spice there, um, and this pepperiness that's like a 
I personally didn't write down flat collar either. That kind of came through. Um, there's some flat collar coming through on the... That's weird. Okay. Hmm. And it drinks just like a rye as well. Funny enough. So it's got this like pepperiness just on the palate there. It's not overpowering. It's rather nice. Nice and sweet. As I said, for that finish, it's got a long finish. When I was able to sit down and do the tasting notes a few days ago, I was getting this finish that kind of just went on for so long. I was sitting there on the couch a little bit later and I was like, I can still taste it. It's giving me like these stewed apples, this fresh apple pie, some spice in there, like a little bit of cinnamon. Um, and as I said, there was this flat cola that I didn't actually get earlier, but now retasting it, there's this kind of flat cola note. So I wouldn't say typical of a rye, oh sorry, typical of a bourbon, even though it's got that higher corn, but it's still all those delicious notes. I'm so disappointed that this, I didn't even write down my buy bar or pass. So I'm gonna have to make this up on the fly. Um, I'm actually disappointed that there is only 257 bottles in Australia because this stuff is that good. So I'm sure you guys can guess what my buy bar or pass is, but I'm gonna have to quickly make this up on the fly because I did get it down, obviously. So uh, price, it's what, just, just under three bottles. Oh, sorry, three three times the US. So that's that's good. Plus seven fifty. I assume it's seven fifty mils. Can't see it on. I didn't get that. Thank Could you. you try again? Thank you, Siri. Uh, no, I can't see how many bottles uh, uh, how many mils it is but i'm assuming it's 750 so the price 165 five-year-old rye comparing that back to the willet i did a few weeks ago probably prefer this over the willet um so yeah it's a, a win for price per pour in my book um it's got those good flavors in there that i typically enjoy you know you've got that sweetness you've got those i guess custody kind of apple pie not custody um apple pie kind of notes um and those apple i say toffee candied apple maybe not um and yeah it's got all that sweetness there that i really enjoy with the bourbon so coming across to the rye easy pick up for someone that really doesn't like rye but's happy to kind of jump over and deal with that um uh, good spice note um and the finish on it as well like just a long finish um i prefer to go something that's got a better nose but on the finish yeah obviously good finish fantastic finish super happy with that so i'm going to knock this down to a buy um, if you guys haven't sussed it out yet, there's only so many bottles available. This bottle is 185 of 257, so make sure you buy some. Or if you haven't, if you're in the US and you can't get the Whiskey Hunt pick, definitely jump on this stuff because it is delicious. Uh, yeah, I'll wrap it up there because we're just about to cross over to nine minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys have checked out on my socials and seen what I'm doing up or getting up to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, should have some new merch dropping soon as well. So that's exciting. Um, announced a giveaway a few days ago. Also fun, um, obviously, super happy American customers and there will be a giveaway with one of my homies coming soon. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to it and hopefully my Australian followers are looking forward to it. Who knows? They're about to find out anyway. Anyway, thank you. Love y'all. Stay thirsty. Peace.